I'm always about uplifting the community that built me. So using black owned and trans owned brands, bringing in people to get not only in front of the camera, but behind the camera. Our duty as marginalized models is to make sure that the room looks like the people that they're shooting. So yeah, always trying to change it, infiltrate it. <laughs> Shake it up a bit. <laughs> My name is Yari Jones. I am a plus size model, actress, activist, and producer. My first modeling gig that kind of like put me out there was an ad for prep. <laughs> I was on all of the NYC buses, in the subway, and you know, that was like my first thing. It was me and a whole bunch of other beautiful black trans women. And then, you know, from there, people started seeing my face, and then all of a sudden, Calvin Klein popped up. <laughs> so surreal, like, to see yourself amplified like that and to know what that represents as a plus size woman, as a trans woman, to be celebrated like that was life changing. I think what makes me the most proud of the accomplishments that I have is the after effects. It's the young queer kid who just moved to New York, who doesn't know what they want to do, messaging me and goes, wow, I want to do what you do. Or right, you gave me the courage to, to get up and go to that modeling casting. Or you gave me the courage to wear what I want to wear and be happy and, and just to see them walking down the street. And I'm like, wow. I couldn't do that when I was younger. And the fact that they're able to do that, I'm so proud of that. I'm glad that I got to be part of that story. All right, so we're Yari's glam team. I'm a hairstylist. I'm the makeup artist. And today we're doing a grunge, uh, 80s, 90s inspired, very uh, sleek, wet look for Yari. I think my biggest advice to those who are upcoming is to be genuine and continue to be who you set out to be. There's definitely always room for growth and to be inspired and to embrace collaboration, but definitely don't ever morph yourself or shake yourself or erase yourself because of something that's popular. I think about that all the time with myself. If I lost the weight, if I tried to bleach my skin, if I didn't disclose my transness, you know, I would be a different person. And not to knock any of those people who have to do that to survive, but for me, I found that being my most genuine and authentic self was going to make me more successful in anything that I ever done. I want to impact the world by giving space to the unknown. I think I want to open the doors for young creatives, for people who have spent their lives doing things for other people, to allow an environment where people can just be and think and create things that have never been even thought of. Originality is hard, but I think it's definitely possible, especially when you're in community with people who have been told no their whole lives or have been shut off or erased. When you create a space for them, you would be amazed about by what comes out, like things we've never seen. <laughs>